Yo what's up guys it's Aptrex here today in this video we'll be taking a look at the brand new update of my PS2 emulator for Android in our last videos we checked out how to set it up and it is a really great stable PS2 emulator for Android but on Play Store if you just go and search my PS2 emulator then you will be able to see that a brand new update was released on 1st June 2024 by the way guys here's our today's Google Play Store gift card redeem code giveaway that I am doing in my daily videos if you want to participate too then just be first in my videos and for that don't forget to subscribe and and turn on all notifications in this update it includes some improvements in terms of controls and also few optimizations you will be able to read the change log if you want to read it and if this video reaches 150 likes we'll be comparing my ps2 emulator against the nether sx2 because a lot of you guys are saying that my ps2 is not as good as nether sx2 whereas in my opinion it provides a great stable gameplay experience so it is a really great ps2 emulator for android anyways once you open my ps2 emulators brand new update for the first time i faced some crashing issues if I directly updated it so I have cleared data of my old my PS2 emulator so we'll be setting it up once again and immediately I have noticed this one option uh, that has been added in this update at the top right corner so you can use hotspot connections as well for FTP now I don't really know what is the use of this because at the end of the day it's supposed to be a PS2 emulator not a file transfer platform nonetheless I'll just go ahead and tap on the game folder and let us import our game file to do so just go ahead and tap on this icon afterwards make sure to tap on file local here just go ahead and select the ps2 game that you want to play inside of the my ps2 emulator but i forgot to tell you guys before you add your ps2 game make sure to open the game folder or else it will not work so let's tap on files and add god of war ps2 once again it is the game that i'll be testing out for today's video god of war hydra battle demo there we go god of war ps2 has been successfully added inside of the my ps2 emulator now i'm not really sure why all of these options have been provided the ftp server configuration etc once again as i mentioned before why do we need these type of options i'm really unsure nonetheless you'll be able to see god of war ps2 game is being showcased so let's see how well is the performance in this brand new update of this emulator uh, now you get the back option at the top left corner and settings at the top right corner and you can also hide the on-screen touch controls by tapping these buttons and if you tap this button right here you will get an option where you will be able to customize the speed which is the brand new feature i guess so if you just go ahead and tap on turbo option uh, frame limiter mode as you will be able to see in the background like we must be getting more than 100 or 200 fps and you will even be able to upscale the graphics now inside the my ps2 emulator so as you guys can see we can go all the way up to 2880p resolution which is more than 4k but for today's video let's go with 3x ps2 resolution and in terms of mip map let's just go ahead and tap on automatic underclocking feature has also been provided as it is the fourth version of aether sx2 let's just go ahead and tap on the settings icon make sure to enable the show fps counter which i don't really think was present previously uh, screen ratio will set it to stretch afterwards we'll uh, toggle the d-pad and afterwards we can also change the type of d-pad let's select type 4 and yeah let's enable d-pad so you will be able to see the l3 l1 l3 and r1 r3 buttons which is pretty amazing and you can also enable dry stick so definitely you can customize the ui opacity and much more the my ps2 emulator is becoming more and more stable and usable ps2 emulator for android and it can definitely uh, put up a great battle against the nether sx2 ps2 emulator for android once again if this video reaches 150 likes i'll be comparing both of those emulators anyways once the cutscene is over i'll be back also i just figured out if you just go ahead and tap on this arrow at the top left corner all the settings and back button will be hidden which will provide you with even a uh, more immersive gameplay experience nonetheless as you guys can see the game has successfully started and as we want an fps counter i'll be pressing the uh, top left corner and yeah there we go you'll be able to see that we are getting 80 fps while emulating god of war ps2 inside the my ps2 emulator android now i want to experiment a little bit let me just go ahead and tap on the start option let's upscale it to 6x 4k resolution and see if there is any change in uh, the fps that we get so let's go back okay now you will be able to see that in 4k resolution we are getting anywhere from 25 to 30 fps which is expected obviously 6x upscale multiplier that's really uh, unreasonable because we don't even have 4k display on my android phone and you will be able to see that the game is lagging now let's just go ahead and set it to 3x and now once again you will be able to see we are getting almost 80 to 90 fps now pretty stable so yeah guys that sums up our today's video be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye